You can take breathing first so that you can get an idea. One, hold your breath. One, two, three, four, five. Release that. Again, you can take. One, two, three, four, five. It will give you oxygen. Blood circulation in your head so that you can concentrate. Right? Well, first thing, if you want, you have to observe your surroundings. First, you have to identify the sector, economic sector. Which sector is preferable for you? Primary sector, secondary sector, or tertiary sector? Primary sector means if you want to involve yourself with farming, fishing, mining, like that. This is the primary related to the goods and service that you receive from nature. No advertisement is required for this sector. No extra emphasis is required for this sector. From what point of view? Say you don't see any ad of coconut. Have you seen? You haven't seen any uh, advertisement of banana. Have you seen? Naturally it's come. You can purchase that banana from, yes? I don't think so. That is the secondary part. I'm talking about the primary. That is, you get the product from nature. So if you uh, if you um, uh, involve yourself with fishing, no advertisement is required for that. Okay. Now, right? If you purchase banana from a farmer and sell that at market. By setting up your own business settings, no advertisement is required. People already, demand is already created for that. But why? For secondary economy, advertisement is required. Why? As because you are going to produce the product or service for the people artificially. Actually, you are the person of secondary product, secondary economy. Am I right? Am I right? So, the products and service that you are going to provide other people to earn money or to establish the business that is related to secondary economy. Actually, you, I guess personally that you, are, you like to involve yourself with secondary economy. So, you want to generate an idea or want to establish, you want to be an entrepreneur, want to establish yourself, want to see yourself as a successful business entrepreneur or business personnel based on secondary economy. That's why you need an advertisement. And another, another sector is that, that is tertiary. If you like to provide service, for that purpose you have to Develop your soft skills. You know how to communicate. You know how to smile. You know how to provide service so that people will happy <coughs> talking with you, taking service from you. It's a mixture. Like I just give you the example that when you are in Bangkok, if you want to consume a coconut, the person he make a good presentation of his product and deliver that to you. So by taking that into your hand, automatically you are happy. Ah, the coconut is prepared for me. That's because the, there is an umbrella. The lemon is there. The cutting is beautiful. So you just cut, take that coconut cut. into your hand and sitting around somewhere, beautiful place, and consume that with a sound mind. Yeah. And after that, with full of joy, you gave him 100 baht. Maybe the cost is 50. Right? It's your satisfaction, mental satisfaction. You got my point? Hmm? How are you? I'm also fine. <laughs> How are you? Ah, I'm also. <laughs> Thank you. So, actually, in the meantime, I believe that you already
provide emphasis onto your product by which you present yourself most probably can i ask you have you um, before before i give you some tips that uh, when when you choose any idea or uh, select any product here is the primary task secondary task you have to identify that competency core competency the uniqueness of your product there are so many restaurants first you have to idea generate the idea what type of restaurants you have involve yourself it could be chinese it could be thai it could be japanese it could be portuguese huh? it could be first food shop it could be coffee shop it could be the <coughs> traditional bangla hotel sectors different then if you choose a specific hotel say i'm going to i'm going to establish a restaurant which will demonstrate the bangla food traditional bangla food match bhat dal and the core competency is there there will be 100 or 200 types of bhatta hmm? nobody, nobody will have that idea sir i'm the pioneer one who is going to introduce bhattas and others am bhatta jam bhatta variety type chicken bhatta beef bhatta mutton bhatta ha don't know what that gosh bhatta no okay ah bhatta bari right bhatta bari yes so then third third one you have to some some characteristics should be there by which you can identify uh, you uh, qualify yourself in the market and then win that you um, make yourself winning that's characteristics characteristics of order qualifier and order winner already I, we have discussed then you can position yourself position yourself for 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 the strategy consists of four steps first one is identify your task or identify your idea which idea you are going to generate or in which business you are going to start second one identify the core competency core competency what would be your uniqueness third one order winning and qualifying characteristics and fourth one positioning the farm right positioning the farm positioning your business consists of four steps what are they four factors it depends on four factors what are they cost quality flexibility and speed already we have discussed but in details we are today we are actually how could you position yourself how could you position yourself four factors are there cost quality then then flexibility and speed do you need any example for that cost quality flexibility and speed the four factors are there keep that into your mind you agree with me first thing mercedes is the quality car second thing জিনিস যেটা ভালো দাম তার একটু বেশি রাইট মেন্স আর ফর ফর দিস নট আ বিজনেস পলিসি ফর দ্যাট ইজ ইফ ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু মেইনটেইন কোয়ালিটি কোয়ালিটি দেন ইউ হ্যাভ টু স্পেন্ড পিপল উইল পারচেজ গুড কোয়ালিটি প্রোডাক্টস বাই হাই প্রাইস রাইট ওকে টু কোশ্চেনস উই উইল ডিসকাস দিস টু কোশ্চেনস ফার্স্ট ওকে সো आवर কোয়ালিটি ফার্স্ট থিং হোয়াট ইজ দ্য ডেফিনিশন অফ কোয়ালিটি নাও consumer satisfaction for consumer satisfaction wonderful what is your name mohammad nain mohammad nain good now definition actually degree of excellence actual but it is a qualitative definition degree of excellence does not mean that does not mean that what is the level excellence level say you you get a plus 
this pen satisfy your your needs properly, then it is a quality product. Now think about for a taxi taxi cab driver, is it is it a quality product? Or if a for a labor is it a quality product? He does not know the use of this pen. So meaning, no meaning is there for him. Now, it is a quality. This consider this chair. It is a quality product. If it satisfies the need of you, the need of this classroom. Yes. If I, I if I place this chair into my drawing room, it is a quality product. No. Is this chair the very place yes. to place? Yes. Yes. <laughs> According to the need of the consumer, according to the need of the consumer, the quality of the product or service is identified. So you have to identify the need. How could you identify the need? Very simple. Where problem is there? Opportunity is there. Where there is any problem, you have the, there is an opportunity to solve that problem. What is quality actually? Meaning. Why? Yes, because we want to we want to <coughs> involve ourselves with business and we want to deliver the quality <coughs> product with minimum cost. We want to deliver quality product with minimum or minimum. quality service with minimum cost. So that we want to know the meaning of quality. We want to identify the cost of quality. How could we minimize the cost of quality? Yes. Yes. Sir, I mean quality that cost our Later we will discuss. This is our session actually. Our objective is to learn. Today we are going to learn this. Huh? Mathematically. Okay. And to evaluate the factors of quality and cost that will help to position the farm in the marketplace. We will going to evaluate what the factors which will dominate the quality and cost. Okay? And our contents would be first thing quality. You are the consumer. From your point of view, how you define quality? Like, if you want to purchase first, if you want to purchase a motorcycle, what would be your first asking? What would be your first asking? Mileage. 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 Right? How much it will run for later. for later? First thing. Second thing, features. What extra item added to basic features? The two you have a uh, back camera with that car or CD facilities with that car. Right? If it is leather coated seat or like that hmm? then conformance the degree to which a product meets pre-established standard why you purchase Toyota why not you are going to purchase say why you are not going to purchase Suzuki Maruti or Mercedes Okay, pre-established standard means if you purchase the car Toyota without any asking, it will provide you service next five years without any disturbance. Right? Now, question. If someone take the looking glass of your Mercedes car, from roadside. What be? Say if someone take the looking glass of your Toyota car from roadside. From where you get the looking glass? In case of Toyota, you just run to Bangamadur. Immediately you will get that. Or in garage from. And for Mercedes, from where you get that? Obviously, you have to order that at the showroom, right? And they will give you time. So after one month, we will place your order to Germany. 
wait for a month, it will come back with proper LLC or something and at least it will cost you 20 to 30,000 taka for one looking glass. But for Toyota, it will cost you 5 to 6,000 for a looking glass only. From where do you get that? From Bangla Motor. Right? Now, say with your Mercedes, you go to Naga. Say. I'm talking about your Yushas, right? You're going to Naga. Say every day you are traveling from your uh, of, um, residence to office. <coughs> right? So Naga, a bit, a bit disturbance is there in your engine. From where you get the mechanic of your Mercedes car. Either you have to call to the showroom and ask them please send a mechanic or you have to tow your car from Noga to Dhaka, enter that into the showroom or service center to fix that. But if you just search for any, any garage at Noga, the person is over there, he learn his responsibility, he know about automobile engineering by handling the Toyota engine. So any mechanic can fix your problem over there at Noga, right? Now, come to the, come to the point that is, if you feel any mm, say, bit accident, so that there will be safety guard, both in Toyota, and in Mercedes also, right? But I'm a bit confused about Suzuki Maruti or other cars as because the glasses are protected with plastic covered, yeah. plastic layer. So when you make any accident, the glass could be broken, but never it falls down. Not for Toyota, not for Mercedes, but for Suzuki could be like this. From that point of view, Mercedes is okay, but from the broken of your heart, if you make any accident with Mercedes, as because you spend a lot of money with Mercedes. So what, what happens to you then? Before that, your heart will be broken as you already made the accident with your Mercedes. Or if someone, someone just provides a crash onto your car. <laughs> so actually, that, look, that is performance from performance point of view, mileage, from reliability, from conformance, from durability, how long the product lasts. Okay, you have the resale value of Toyota car, right? People are available to purchase your car, second hand car, but people are not available to purchase your Mercedes. So you have a resale value of your Toyota car. You are free from that anxiety. Okay, the model is old, so I want to purchase a new version. I can sell that at Sell Bazaar or Bicray.com or Oh, anywhere. People are waiting there to purchase my second hand car. Okay. The, I already told you serviceability, repairs. Huh? The easy of getting repairs. The speed for repairs and courtesy and competence of the repair person. The person who learned his. Uh, education by handling the engine of a Toyota, not the engine of Suzuki Maruti and not the <coughs> engine of 
Mercedes. So from that point of view, I told you before the definition, the characteristics of a product which satisfy the need of the customer. Which product satisfies your need? From repairing point of view, from service point of view, from resale point of view, from mileage point of view. Mercedes or Toyota? Toyota. So obviously Toyota is a quality car, not Mercedes. Mercedes would be your luxury. Mercedes is a luxury. It's not a quality. Maybe occasionally you can use that for your party. But every time you make comfortable with that product huh? for attending the party, for attending something like that, others. But for regular use, the product will satisfy your need. It's certain. Now, come to the point of service. If it is not a product, manufacturing product, it is a Consider it is a service for your restaurant. <coughs> restaurant is providing service. Okay. What is the service? Let's see. First one is dimensions of service quality. First is time and timeliness, right? After providing your order, how much you want to stay with? You are hungry at that time. When you are in any restaurant, you are hungry. Right? So when you place an order, the, the waiter or the person who took your order give you the time frame that I have to wait 20 minutes to get my order. Okay. You ordered a lot first time they come with soup. You finish the soup, then waiting, then come with rice with some other food but not delivered yeah. only the, uh, only rice then after five minutes or six minutes then come chicken so already half done you have completed chicken uh, uh, consume your rice by chicken then come beef and others in the meantime already you have finished your rice so that is not the time and timeliness there is a there is to provide service there is a Completeness. Completeness means completeness means when you take order, you just provide your customer the assurance, sir. Twenty minutes is required. I want twenty minutes from you. And can you give me the idea that I deliver your order with full set or part by part, so that you assure him. I want whole food at a time. After delivered the service, it is his duty to confirm all the orders are placed properly. All the orders are placed properly. That's why, sir, can you please check your orders are okay? Is it okay? Do you want anything else? Just asking. But you can't use rudeness. Means, sir, please check either your order is okay or not. Not in that format. Format is that? Format is that completeness. What is completeness? Service completeness. Format is that, sir, can you please check your order? Do you want anything else? So that it means that please cross check what you have ordered. Either it is delivered in a proper format or not. Right? Okay. Do you get your credit card bill every month accurately or your utility bill? Say your electricity bill. If it is accurate or your gas bill or your um, VASA electricity bill. If the bills are okay, it is accuracy of service. If the bills are not faulty, it is not accurate service. 
it is related to service. Do you get your newspaper every day at the same time? If you get that every day in the same time, then it is service. consistency. But you get the service consistently in the same level. If the very time the service is not consistent. So these are the examples actually, but when you are going to provide service to a person or anybody, to a person or anybody, you have to think that I have to be consistent. Provide the same service every time in accurate format. I have to be conscious regarding provide the service in accurate format. Mistakes will not take it into consideration so that if I made any mistake regarding providing my service, my customer will unhappy. I have to provide the service in a complete format together with cross check. I ask my customers to enter into my decisions. Sir, this part is good for you. This is the restaurant. How many How many uh, are there with you, sir? Seven person. Okay, seven person. When seven person, eight person, nine person, eh? it is easy for you and for your customer to give a specific site for them so that they can enjoy their meal a specific corner. But at the center of the restaurant, if he sits, if they sit together and ha ha, he, he, other customers will be disturbed. They have their own choice. You can help them to choice their own place. Do you understand my point? Huh? Do you understand my English? Huh? Is it okay? Do you understand Bangla? Courtesy, <laughs> okay, consistency. Uh, th this is accessibility that either you have choice to enter their service. I want that corner, I want that table. Can you please give me that shaded area for my friends? I have family with me, I want a separate room. I have kids with me, they may. Uh, uh, yeah. So that the if you provide the service, you have to help your customer to choose the right place to make him comfortable with your environment. It is your duty. If you are, if you are providing service, huh? so you should not be rude with your customer. By Customers will lift your gallo to gallo, right? Accuracy. So this is the dimension of service quality from consumer point of view, right? You are the consumer. You are the consumer. You define quality from your perspective. If it is a manufacturing product, if it is a manufacturing product, first thing. If it is a manufacturing product, if you want to purchase a motorcycle, that is first thing, mileage, uh, extra service, durability, features, extra items that will be there or not, right? Uh, and other, what are, what are the other things? Durability then? Conformance, service ability, available service are there or not like that. Safety, if it is service, time and timeliness, courtesy, consistency, accuracy, these are required. If you are a consumer, now come to the point. I am the producer, you are the producer now. This is the vital part. Being a consumer, it is easy to identify the quality. Uh, that product is quality product that product, that service is not a quality service. It is easy. But when you are involved yourself with business, it is your business. First, then 
you have to satisfy yourself first before delivering your product to your customer. It's a must. Never ever your customer will satisfy unless you satisfy yourself first. If you think that customers are not bokana, okay? Full. 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 If the customers are full, what I have delivered them, they will easily grab, grab that. That is not true. First, you have to make satisfy yourself for, for your product. Then, you deliver that to your customers. Then, customers will identify either it is a quality product or not. That is from producer's perspective. What is producer's perspective first look quality is what are the first thing to make it to make a quality product your first duty you have to fix the design or technology or process raw material the process that you identify to get the output from input what is your objective? Get output from input. This is all about. You provide input, get output. You provide here raw vegetable, get here mixed vegetable. Cook mixed vegetable, output, so that customers will happy. In the meantime, you mix some ingredients with that. Huh? Testing salt, salt, oil, butter, chicken, anything, whatever it is, so that you can prepare your own dish. That is the output, right? The way you prepare this, either you satisfied with that way or not. To, to prepare that output, you need a hygienic place, you need a good process, healthy process, unit and culinary format get output. First you have to satisfy that, yes, I am satisfied by preparing this food. So that, it's a general example is there. Look, when a mother cook for his son, when a mother cook for her son or daughter, what is the difference? And when a uh, Chef or Babuji or Guakala cook for their customer. What is the difference between this type of? Mother cook, uh, uh, cook uh, the more hygienic. Uh, more That's because she thinks that my son or daughter will consume this. So during the time of preparation, she looks after the points of hygienicness cleanliness, proper utilization of raw materials, right? She does not want to use the ingredients which is out of date, that is expired. Automatically, she provides emphasis on this <coughs> topics, and on these um, factors to make the good output, right? Hmm? From if you think your output from that perspective, your duty first you have to make yourself satisfied that I am satisfied with my output. Then you deliver that to your customer. Then customer will satisfy, or they will then have the chance that to identify your cooking is a good quality or bad quality from consumer's point. Keep that into your mind carefully. Without your satisfaction, without your satisfaction, being a producer, without your satisfaction, never ever you will, you will be positioned in the market. 
কখনো কোনো কাস্টমারকে স্যাটিসফাইড করতে পারবেন না ক্লিয়ার টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড নাও হোয়াট ইজ টোটাল কোয়ালিটি টিকিউএম টোটাল কোয়ালিটি ম্যানেজমেন্ট হোয়াট ইজ টিকিউএম টোটাল কোয়ালিটি ম্যানেজমেন্ট অ্যাকচুয়ালি ইট ইজ নট এ প্রসেস total quality is a philosophy it is not a process it's a philosophy keep that it is not a process when we when we use the term total quality and we have to manage that that's why it is total quality management it is a philosophy not a process philosophy from what sense first thing say you are the student of defodil international university say you are satisfied with the education system of defodil or not first question being a customer the first customer satisfaction it's a philosophy tqm is a philosophy provide emphasis on three principles first one is customer satisfaction being a student of defodil you are satisfied or not now come to my point <coughs> i am the employee of defodil lender not only your satisfaction being the employee of this institution i am satisfied or not second TQM not only provide emphasis on customer satisfaction customer satisfaction is a part together with that being an employee of this university i am the faculty member i have to satisfy myself also or i have the interaction proper interaction with you or not you have the proper interaction with your faculty members or not questions have you proper interaction with your faculty members yes no are you satisfied with the education system of defodil yes no either you have say yes or being the employee of this university i am satisfied with the structure with the environment with the students of this university yes no either it is or if it is yes and does defodil follow the continuous improvement say what you have seen 2 years ago and today accordingly that next 2 years there is a trend of improving yes or no if all these are yes then it is fall under pq when customers are satisfied when employees are satisfied and there is continuous improvement then the institution or in your business or your service under total quality management that's why it is a philosophy got my point so when you start your business <coughs> if you only think about your profit first thing if you think only of your customer okay but it is not fall under you have to think about your employees also you have to think about your customer also you have to think first continuous improvement yes so these are the principles of tqm later you will understand this not about discussion now we will go for cost actually first thing is the quality already and identify the first question first question was the quality that we identify toyota as a quality car now come to the point you already told me that that the cost of a quality product is be high okay now come to the cost of quality can be classified into two parts 
first one is the cost of good quality, second one is the cost of poor quality. Now, if we divide this cost of quality, first part is cost of achieving good quality, second part is under good quality there are two, two parts. What is the first one? Go back. Okay. What is prevention cost? First one is prevention cost. You are going to produce a chair. Before producing this chair, you want to design it first. Prevent yourself. Prevent yourself not to produce bad quality. Prevent yourself not to produce bad quality or service. That's why you need a planning, a design. First, process, training, Still, you don't produce any chair, right? Have you produced any chair? No. Before producing the chair, first you have to design the chair for what purpose it is used? For classroom or for training room? Right? Prevention. First you have to think, design which product you are going to produce. Chair. Say, chair. For what purpose? classroom or for your drawing room, right? What process you are going to use? What raw material you are? It is a wooden glass or cast iron and fabrics. Students only, it is for only sitting or it is for sitting and writing. Who will prepare this? Any person? can prepare this or you have to train that person. Rasta theke ekjon je kono riksha da dhore ene bolo chair banao, chair banabe? No, first you have to train that. Train that person who is going to prepare the chair according to your design. This is all our prevention. <coughs> prevention cost means <coughs> Preventing yourself not to produce poor quality or bad quality product. So to prevent prevention cost, you don't involve yourself still, you don't involve yourself with production, but before that you invest some money, which is known as the cost. You need to involve some person to design your chair that will involve some cost who will prepare for that purpose you invest some money you need to fix the process to get output from input machinery should be there for that purpose you invest some money right all these are the prevention cost you understand so before producing any product or service, actually which is known as initial investment, that is also known as fixed cost to start a business. Fixed cost, from where you will get that? By submitting your plan, you can take loan from bank. What purpose it is used? It is used to produce good product or service. So you need to develop a plan, you need to develop a process, you need to develop training for the persons. Now, when you start, when you start producing, who will check your product that either this product is in the right track or not? Ah, BSTI is there. Quality Control Department or Mm. So, during the time of your production, an inspector is there to test your product. 
that your product is in track, you also you also satisfy yourself. Yes, according to the design, I am producing my product. Whatever it is, that is that is appraisal. Yes, your product is in the track. Inspection, BSTI personnel will inspect that. Equipment tests, operator costs, all these costs are related to good quality products, good quality service. Get my point? No. Now, question is that if you don't involve yourself with planning, say you just start preparing the chair without any design. Say someone, please prepare a chair. First he prepared this chair. Oh, this is the only chair. No, no, no. I want this chair for classroom. Give something, add something to write over it. So you add this part. Uh, yes, this is for the students. No need for um, fabric. Use wood. So every time after preparing, you are changing your design, right? It will incur some scrap cost. Scrap means scrap means the extra item which is not required. We have seen some extra extra uh, shaped book. No. Almost almost all books shapes all. Uh, novel books shapes are same. Because of the binding. They don't know. Well, the page, the dummy page, DMI page. You use, yeah, double DMI page. You use for printing the books. If you fold that page eight times, it will give you that shape actually. So they are minimizing the waste paper. If you prepare different shape, page will be scraps. Some page is lost over there. Could be. 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 Could then someone, okay, look, if I am the designer of this chair, if I want another thing with this chair, uh, that is, I want a pocket here, here, for, for what purpose? During the time of exam, a student can hold the pencil, pen, calculator here for his regular use, a pocket. So that it will create, sometimes I have seen uh, students use uh, a, a calculator in this side, um, scales on the top of the um, board or use um, watch somewhere in a scattered, scattered way, used for like that. So that if, if, if a pocket is here, is good enough for the student. But this is only for the exam time. But other times, it is risky. Who will clean that pocket? Students will. Chewing gum, loose chewing gum, chips packet, other things, all should be. Then I have changed my idea. No, no pocket will be there. Plastic pocket. Who will clean up that pocket? Then? Plastic. This is the thing. It is more cost. Yeah, it will create. Reward cost, and that is 
if you don't make yourself uh, go for good quality, internal failure. First thing, internal failure. What are the internal failures? Process failure, downtime, process downtime. That process will not work. Uh, this chair is not good. Throw that. Prepare another one. And after prepare of that product, when you deliver that to your customer, think about mobile phone. Ah, my fourth number of button is not working. Sir, can you please go to our service center? Right? That person go to the service center, that is the complaint, customer complaint. I don't want this phone, give me another one. As warranty is there. So, by purchasing one phone, the cost of one phone he can consume two. And company is bound to provide him to us because warranty claims is there. Right? Product liability, the lost one, the delivered one by customer, it is useless for that company. And finally, the customer told other people, don't go for symphony, it's a bad phone. <laughs> Negative marketing. Right? So cost, when you design your product properly, it will minimize your cost. Cost of good quality, and if you don't involve yourself with proper planning, it will increase your cost of poor quality. Now, think. say you want to produce jute item, jute, say jute bag. Do you know what is jute? No? Fiber? Jute fiber? Jute? They know about jute, but you don't know, huh? Jute fiber, no, this is not jute fiber. This is artificial. Okay, jute is a raw material to prepare uh, bags, even dress now. Today, shirts, silver kameez and others. It's like cotton. Jute, J-U-T-E. It's the main product, it's the... J, 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 U. T E. It's from animal. It's from crops. Okay. Yeah, not cotton. It's not uh, actually fiber. soft cotton. Fiber. It's one kind of fiber which is used to prepare different type of products. Mm. Natural fiber. Natural fiber. Okay. Like rice, rice is consumed for uh, rice is used for consume. You know rice. Yeah. It's a, another a, a, another uh, crop is jute, but that is uh, used for preparing products, different products, not for consume. Say jute, say jute, hundred tons. <laughs> jute. <laughs> 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 Sir, maybe he know about him. It is like in the juice, but it is a China uh, product. Mm. Yeah. Also, it has a product. Mm. Maybe they know about it. Mm. <laughs> or um, Remy. Yes, Jute. Yes. This is the Jute of Remy. Flax. Yes, this is Jute product. Hey, this is Jute. This is Jute product. Look. <laughs> ah, this is the Jute tree. By processing the tree, this type of products are produced. This is jute bell. Huh? Okay. Rope. Yes, rope. Okay. Say, input is 100 ton raw jute. And if you want the jute bell, that is the rope, do you get total 100 tons of output? 
No. Some parts will, yeah. This is, this is the process running cost. What draw material you provide as input, not get all the outputs in same quantity. The output that you get from input, it is productivity, you know? Productivity, the ratio of output and input. Do you have any idea about productivity? Okay. I, let me discuss again. Say you invest 2 taka and get 10 taka. You invest 2 taka to purchase a product. After processing, you sell that product to your customer by 10 taka. So productivity is 5. Now, if you increase your process, if you modify your process by investing 2 taka, if you sell that product at 12 taka, so productivity is 6, right? But it is not an imposed term. People willingly purchase your product by 12 taka. Question is that what would be your idea or process you use to transfer that input into output? What would be the process to get good output? So people will willingly purchase your product your target is to increase productivity or you can minimize the cost. You can also increase the productivity by minimize the cost. How? No, instead of investing 2 taka, if you can manage that by 1.5 taka and return is 10 taka, it will also increase your productivity. It is minimization of Cost. Question is that how could you increase your productivity? Either maximizing the profit or minimizing the cost. In terms of a person, say he is the person, I am asking how could you increase your productivity? You are a human being, no input and output is there. He can, he can, he can calculate his productivity by effectiveness and efficiency. Effectiveness, effectiveness divided by efficiency. Effectiveness, doing the right things at the right time. Efficiency, doing things right. Right? So that every day he can calculate his own productivity. After every week he can calculate his own productivity. After every month he can calculate his productivity. That either I finish my work in time or not, with correctly or not. Do you get the 100 tons of output? No. The output that you get, which is known as yield. What? Yield. Y I E L D. The yield, the formula to get this yield. Yield, what is yield? What is the product outcomes of your Good. What is productivity? Output by input. We are going to measuring product yield. Product yield. That is how much you provide input so that you get output. The output that you get, what is the way of measure that? The formula is the, that is, it could be 100, right? Input 100 ton. How much ton? Say, say, just an example. What is the formula? I into, say, among 100 ton, 80 tons, you get good output. Say, just for an example, don't take it seriously. 100 tons raw material, jute is used. Among 100 tons, 80 tons, you get rope. Rope. Okay? So 
what is the defective product? How much is the defective one? 20 tons. All the 20 tons are defective or you can reuse that. At least you can try to reuse that to get more output, right? This is known as reward. What? Reward. So, if you, if you invest here 100 ton, you get 80 tons here and other parts, 1 minus 80, that is 20 tons, into 100, into reward. All together provide you the yield, that is the output. So you can write down the formula onto your kata. Yield input into percentage of good quality plus Yes, total input, percentage of good unit plus total input into 1 minus, 1 minus percentage of good unit into percentage of 1 minus input yield. equal to input percentage of good units plus input 1 minus percentage of good unit into percentage of reward. This is the formula to calculate yield. That is the output, measure of output. Measure of output. Okay? Let's have an example. Can you have that copy with you? Yes. Okay. Can I use a, a pen? Yeah, you can use You can use that? Can you please shut down this thing? Okay, not shut down, just minimize it. Where is the pen? Example 1. Read everybody. Say, Korim 
Jute company starts production for a particular type of jute product. Okay? The production process begins with 100 tons of raw jute each day. What is the input then? Okay, we can write here 100. Then? The percentage of good jute products produced each day average 80%. And the percentage of poor quality products that can be reward is 50%. So good quality is 80%. Point eight zero. Is it okay? Plus? Again, 100. Okay? 1 minus 0 0.80. Is it okay? Yes. And the percentage of rework is 50%. 50% 50 means 0 0.50. Can you calculate by your calculator or use mobile? So what would be the result? Anybody please? Use your mobile or calculator. of jute and you will get the output as 90 tons according to the formula this is a now question is that by monitoring is it okay everybody now by monitoring yourself look at me look at me here there I am By monitoring, by monitoring yourself or your process, I am talking about the process. That is, you provide input, get output. In the meantime, 20% you are a bad quality product is 20%, right? Now, if you monitor properly your production process and you increase good quality, good quality, from 80% to 90%. Can you please erase this? Erase it. Erase it. Erase it. Erase Very good. Erase it. Erase it. Erase it. Erase it. Ah. Yes. Ami mai shikha gesi. Ninety. Then. What is the productive? Sir, uh, is it okay for the uh, re reward? Yeah, you reward always. What is your waste material? You can reward that. Again, you can start the process, give that into the as input for your reward. That is 50% you can. Rework your 90% rework your 9 percent change your your habit. 50% Bish, Baki. Are 50% reward. I can have a 10% reward. If you have a good quality, you can get a good quality. 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 You can get a good qu
10টা বাটন উত্তর দিক করা গেছে 10টা একদমই নষ্ট 50% এখন যদি ওখানে একটু মনিটরিং এর লোক থাকতো সুতাটা ছেলার সাথে সাথেই সে যদি আবার এই সুতাটা লাগায় দেওয়ার ব্যবস্থা করতে তাহলে দেখা গেল 80টার জায়গায় 90টা শার্ট তৈরি হয়েছে বাকি 10টা আবার রিওয়ার্ড করে 5টা আনা হয়েছে দেন হোয়াট উইল বি দা ইল 95 95 গুড নাও কনসিডার দিস when your good quality product is 80% it will provide you 90 tons of product yield when it is by monitoring you can increase your product yield to 90% it will provide you 95% yield so increase of good quality product is how much 5 right in percentage how would you interpret this five in percentage think about what you have learned in the school na no koite pare batch one five by ninety And in hundred, five by ninety into one hundred. What is the percentage? You can use your calculator. Everybody, open your calculator. Five point five five. Five point five five. The result is five point five percent. So increase of good quality product will increase your product increase your good quality product from 80% to 90% will increase your product yield 5.5% product yield means the output by using 100 tons of jute so nothing is changed only you chain you monitor the process properly to increase the good quality right now i can use this hmm hmm hocche na to ekটু বড় করে দিস বড় করে দেয়া যাবে এই ধীরে ধীরে কি second part we will provide emphasis on the key part that is the product cost you told me before that the product if you want to provide quality product it will cost you more right right per unit product cost per unit what is the formula can i show the formula manufacturing cost per unit
rework unit. Now, I told you that is when the defective <coughs> item is there, when you start again reproduction of that, it will cost you something, whatever it is. It is given, say manufacturing cost is given, how much? Example 2, how much is that? Divided by yield. This is the formula that I gave you to determine the product cost per unit. Say, this is just an example for your understanding, nothing else. This is not serious anything. Only to understand the sequence. That is manufacturing cost is given. How much is that? 30. Total unit is 100, right? 100 ton jute. We involve ourselves with 100 ton jute, right? Plus rework cost per 12. And rework unit is? What is your rework unit? 20 is your defective. 20 is your defective. Among defective, 50% is reward. Then, how much is your rework unit? 10. If your defective unit is 20, among 50% is reward. What is the 50% of 20? 10. So you have to that is 30, that is 100 and you already calculate your yield is what? 90. So what is the product cost? Can you calculate that? Use your calculator. Thirty-four point six. Hmm? Oh, sorry, sorry. Four point six. Four point six. Thirty-four point six. Is it okay? Thirty-four point six six. Okay. Thirty-four point six six. This is the cost. Per unit. Is it okay? Yes, now, if you monitor, provide good monitoring, other things are okay. Raw materials are same, raw materials are same, process is same, uh, manufacturing cost is same, reward cost is everything is same. Only you Monitoring yourself, monitoring the process. By monitoring the process, if you increase your good quality product from 80% to 90%, then what happened? Change, we can change this, right? 13 to 100 is same. Okay? 12, if you increase your monitoring, then how much good quality product you will get? Maybe 90? Bad quality? Ten. Ten. Among bad quality, fifty percent is reward. Then what would be the reward element? Five. So that we can change this to five. And and the Yield should be 95 according to the previous example. Then, can you please check what is your product? Of 
don't go for unsatisfied yourself first. You are, you are going to be the producer, right? You are the businessman. So your duty first is to satisfy yourself first. Business will be sustainable. Yes. Then your business will be sustainable. Sustainable, scalable. Sustainable means sustained or scalable means part. Okay. Thank you everybody. See you.